So we're in Washington, D.C. right now. We're going to go do a walking tour looking for the effects of acid rain on all of the beautiful monuments and buildings that you see in the city. I actually found a guide from the U.S. Geological Survey that maps everything out. So we're going we're gonna to go take some looks. The first building we're going to is the Botanic Gardens. It was built in 1931. It's built of limestone, which is, is eaten away easily by acid in the water. And so what happens is the things that are inside the limestone that are a little bit harder than the calcite stick out a bit more and end up raising out of the stone surface a bit more when everything else falls away from it or dissolves away from it. And so that's what you see here, a little donut fossil. What's up, little guy? So now we're going to go up to the U.S. Capitol. We'll take a look at some pock marks that are left by acid rain dissolving mineral, the calcite around harder minerals, which then fall out of place and leave little pock marks. Gypsum is a byproduct of the reaction between the acid and the calcite in the water, and it traps dirt in there, which is why it gets dark. But then it also forms a crust which breaks off, and I think that's what we're seeing right here on the corners, where it's dark and then it, it breaks off. And that's, that's just another way that the acid rain kind of eats away at the corners. And you, you can see like it, the corners aren't sharp anymore, and I'm sure they were sharp when they were first laid. So right now we're at the Grant Memorial. We're right across the street from the Capitol. Uh, one of the things that happens to these bronze statues when they meet up with acidic rain is they turn this light blue-green color, which dissolves some of the bronze and it runs off. And so it stains these the pedestals that they're on. And, and so that's what you're seeing here. This is all. Uh, the acidic rain is turning it colors and running down and staining the marble. And it doesn't hurt the marble, but apparently there's no way to clean it without damaging the marble itself. So I guess they just leave it green. So we're in the Jefferson Memorial right now, and here's another example of how acidic precipitation will eat around the calcite, dissolve that, and then whatever that calcite was holding in place comes out, and even these big gaps. So this concludes our tour of acid rain damage in Washington, D.C., but if you want to take your own, you can get more information here. And if you want to get more information on acid rain, you can go to our website here. And for Discovery News, I'm James Williams.